Hey ma, What's that? let's slide. All right. All right, and we gon' get it on tonight. You smoke, I smoke, I drink. Me too. Well good, 'cause we gon' get it high tonight. Got drops, got, got trucks. Got All right, 'cause we gon' take a ride tonight. So ma. So we're at 2015 now. All the way through 2015, I was still using my phone. I had a tripod. I had a microphone. But it, it really didn't... It, it did not change the quality of the, of the picture. I was getting really pissed off with my camera, to be honest. And it was time... It was about... It was at that time that I had about 500 subscribers. Nothing huge. Um, but it was about time I got something in my possession that would allow me to do videos in the quality that I wanted, which was 4K at the time. So what I did is I bought a GoPro. So this is probably about three years after I put out my first ever video. I invested a decent amount of money in an actual camera for my YouTube channel, which was this. So it was a GoPro Hero 4 Black. Silver? No, black. And um, one of the things I really regret actually is getting the black, which is more, more expensive than silver because what the silver one has is a little screen on the back that you can see what you're videoing. Uh, this one unfortunately didn't. So yes, I got the quality, but what I didn't get was the ability to actually see what I was videoing, which started pissing me off. But just before we do go on, I will bring you back to that fateful day that I used this for the first time. Let's have a look. Yes, finally. I don't even know what this looks like, but hopefully it looks all right. Just put the mount up on my car. So this is gonna be one of the regular, uh, well, the more regular angles that you're gonna see me uh, making videos from. So from my car seat while I'm driving, there'll be no more going like this because I finally got my fucking GoPro. Stoked. All right, and that brings us to the start of my Making Gain series, which was a pivotal moment, it really was. I just hit a thousand subscribers, this is about halfway through 2016, I just hit a thousand subscribers, and when you think about that, it took me four years, four years from putting out my first video, you know, and being pretty well, pretty consistent um, to get to a thousand subscribers. Can you believe that? And I still kept going. I can't, you know, sometimes I think about that and I think, I cannot fucking believe that. I just can't believe I kept going. And it's at those times that you realize that you're doing it for another reason other than money. You're not doing it for money. I, I never was. I was doing it to create. I was doing it because I enjoyed it. I was doing it to give positive messages to the world and to leave my mark. That's why I did it. So, anyways, 2016 comes along, I, I decide I am fucking way too small, way too skinny, and I decide to start a making gain series. This series went for a whole year, and I upgraded my equipment throughout that year. So at the start of the, start of the series, I was still using my phone, okay? The microphone, I didn't try after that first attempt, but the only reason that sounded so shit was because of the microphone. If I actually have a decent microphone, this could definitely come in handy. Um, but basically guys, I was still using my phone, I had the tripod, and that's it. A few months into this, I decided, you know what? It's going well, my subscribers are going up. I do want to continue doing YouTube. I want to make my videos better, I want to make them higher quality, and the way I'm going to do that is to buy an actual camera, a vlogging camera. One with a screen that flips around, which I had never had before. So I went on YouTube, like I always do, looked at videos like this, this one, about vlogging setups, about people's references, this camera versus this camera, this microphone versus this microphone. And at the end of the day I decided, right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with the, the masses, I'm gonna go with what everyone else says and get a Canon 80D. So for me to continue this story, we're gonna have to actually change cameras. I'm gonna start using this to video us. And are we holding that one? So let's do that. Okay, we can turn this one off now. So, it's funny, setting up this camera like this and looking at it and not being able to see myself is exactly the frustrating feeling I used to have. So, regardless, this is this is my YouTube setup guys. This is the moment you've been waiting for. 
here she is, my current YouTube vlogging sitter. So, like I said, it's the Canon 80D. We have a Rode microphone. I think Rode is actually an Australian brand, but once again, a brand that everyone recommended online, and so I just went with that. I bought it all at the same time. We got the microphone. I got the tripod, which is a Joby tripod. And anyone who's ever bought one of these will know that there was a little swivel thing on the top. And ever since I took it off, I haven't been able to get it back on. So now, I just screw it like straight onto the bottom of the camera. Although there was a thing on the top of this where it would allow me to you know, swivel the camera around on different angles, which would have been very, very useful, except it stopped working. So anyways, we got the tripod, we got the microphone, we got the camera. So if anyone wanted a bit of a look at the ATD, this is what it looks like, this is, this is the size, okay, next to my head. <laughs> it's pretty decently sized, it's got, it's got a bit of weight to it, and that's what you've got to, you know, realise when you're, Wanting a camera like this for vlogging, I, th I honestly think it's too heavy. It really is. It's too heavy to use as a vlogging camera all day. And with that said, you know, at the time that I was deciding what camera to buy, it was either going to be this or a Canon G7X Mark II, which is a lot smaller, but still has that flip out screen function. And looking back, you know, do I regret getting this one over that? No, because this was about 1600 and that one was at like 1000 at the time. But I would like both. And so moving forward, I'm actually at another one of those stages where I'm ready to reinvest some money into my YouTube channel. And so my next investment will be a camera. It's going to be a Canon G7X Mark II or else a Mark III if that's out. So I think that's it. Actually, no, there's two more things, which is... The original lens that I bought, okay, this is a Tamron lens, alright, one of the best in the business I'm told. So I was sold, I was sold, I bought it, sweet, all good, took it home, started recording with it and realised, fuck, it's a fantastic lens, it's got an amazing zoom, you can take some amazing pictures, but when you try and take video with it, it makes a horrible, horrible clicking sound. And this is a sound that my audience had to deal with for over six months. So for that, I apologize. And the mistake I made was not getting a kit lens and just buying this. So this was the only lens I had. I only had the body and the lens. So I was stuck with it. Eventually, eventually I went back to the camera shop and bought the kit lens. Um, the Canon, what is it, 18 to 55 mil. So it's a decent sort of zoom, nothing like this. But what I got with it was the non-clicky sound, which made videoing a whole lot better. Let's try and put this in a little bit of order here. All right, so that is all the camera equipment that you can use on the ground, but there is one piece of equipment that you can actually use in the air. And if you haven't guessed, that is my drone, which I nearly forgot about. So, here she is, DJI Phantom 3 Advanced. I have had a Phantom 3 Professional, but I broke it. So I bought another one. This is the hard case that it comes in. I don't know if you can see all these travel stickers, but it's uh, it's definitely it's 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 done a few miles. It really has. So you know this is this has been my baby, man. It really stepped up my YouTube vlogging setup, and I've still got it. And it's it's an amazing piece of equipment. It, geez, it opens up a whole new world as far as being a content creator. So. You know, I'll just give you a quick look. I won't put it together or anything, but just to show you that I actually do have one. Here it is. Phantom 3 Advanced. We've got heaps of propellers. We've got three batteries, which is extremely important. And the remote. So, you know, this has fuck, it's come with me everywhere, guys. If you've, if you've been here on my channel for a few years, then you'll know. I take this everywhere. Whether I use it or not is, is another story, but I'll take it everywhere because, you know, you never want to be without it when there's an awesome, you know, thing to capture. So. Okay, and there we have it, guys. That was, in chronological order, my YouTube vlogging setup from zero to where we are right now. There's been a, there's been a few thousand dollars invested, I must say. 
but it's all been worth it. It's all been an investment in myself, which, like I said at the start, is the best investment you'll ever make. So, I'm going to bid you farewell. And I'll say, once and for all, if you're, st if you're thinking about starting your own YouTube channel, if you've got content, you've got videos that you've shot, you've edited them, you just don't want to put them up, I'll tell you what, man, don't wait any longer. <laughs> it took me three years to get a thousand subscribers. If I started today, it'd probably take me three more. So if you feel like you've got a message to give, it's never too late. Start today. Let's slide, alright, and we gon' get it on tonight